Now we are seeing about the characteristics of cocoons. Quality of cocoons. A cocoon has three distinctive layers. Vice versa, the outer flowers are glass, the middle compact shell, which constitutes the main bulk of reeled silk and the innermost pelage layer which is the thin layer covering the larva just before pupation. The outer flowers and the inner pelage layer together make the waist known as phrases. The thickness of the silk filament is measured gravimetrically in terms of denier. A denier is the weight of 9000 meter of silk expressed in grams. Characters used to determine the quality of cocoons may be divided into heritable and environmentally induced characters and those produced by the interaction of the two. The heritable characters include color, shape, etc. of the cocoons. Examples of environmentally induced characters are weight of the cocoon, size of the fil cocoon filaments, thin end cocoon, thin middle cocoons are produced by the combined action of both that is the heritable characters and the environmentally induced characters. Physical and commercial characteristics of cocoon color. The color is a racial character. The following colors have been noticed in cocoons. White color cocoon, grayish white cocoons, silver white cocoons, yellow cocoons, canary yellow cocoons, sulfur yellow cocoons, old gold yellow cocoons, pale yellow cocoons and golden yellow cocoons. Color is due to the pigments. Except sericin, the other colors are removed along with sericin in the reeling processes. Shape. The cocoons are in ball shape, egg shape, oval shape, spindle or peanut shapes. The spherical oval and moderately constricted cocoons reel easily than deeply constrict ones. Size of the cocoon Size of cocoons is indicated by the number of cocoons per litter. 110 to 150 cocoons are there in a litter for univoltine or bivoltine races and more in multivoltines. Compactness or hardness. When the cocoon is pressed between the fingers, it should not yield but should feel firm, compact or slightly elastic or resilient. Loosely built cocoons have poor railing quality. Grain or wrinkle. The deflosed cocoon, that is the deflosed means the silkworms produce an unreelable layer of silk over the cocoons called flas, which must be removed for further processing. The flas is removed cocoons are called deflosed cocoons. The deflosed cocoons has a granular surface wrinkled with convolutions. Coarse granules make poor railing. Weight of cocoon. In 
convoluting the cost of production of raw silk the quality of cocoons used to produce the unit of raw silk called rendita is estimated the price of cocoons is adjusted according to the estimated number of cocoons used for one rendita shell ratio as the whole cocoon with the pupa inside is purchased it is essential to know the ratio between the weight of the silk shell and the whole weight of the cocoon and this is expressed as a ratio weight of the cocoon shell per weight of whole cocoon into 100 This gives a fair indication of the quality of raw silk, raw silk that can be reeled. Indian multi-voltine hybrids contain from 12 to 15 percentage. Newly evolved hybrids 10 to 15 percentage. Multi-voltine pure varieties from 10 to 12 percentage. and japanese from 15 to 25 percentage length of silk bave silk bave uh, means undigmented silk thread the bifilar thread that is two filaments are cemented together by silk gum or sericin the length of silk bave of indian multi voltine pure gazes are 300 to 400 meter the length bave, length of silk bave of indian multi voltine hybrids are 400 to 500 meter the length of silk bave of indian multi voltine newly evolved hybrids are 800 to 1200 meter the length of silk bave of japanese hybrids are 1000 to 1600 meter filament denier the denier decreases from outside to inside gradually tolerance limits are specified for commercial silk as 13 by 15 20 by 22 etc reliability the percentage ratio of unbroken filament to length of whole filament raw silk percentage the percentage of raw silk that can be produced varies in the different silk worms races and this is also taken into consideration for fixing the price of cocoons the raw silk percentage for different races are un univoltine races 80 to 85 percentage multi voltine hybrid races are 55 to 60 percentage and for multi voltine pure races are 40 to 45 percentage neatness it refers to the small knots present on the silk thread neatness values are different for the different races and is also affected by the rearing conditions cleanness this refers to the defect of large knots on the thread this defect is normally produced during cooking and reeling operations tenacity and elongation tenacity means grip of the thread tenacity is measured as the endurable weight of each denier elongation is the percentage ratio of the maximum extended thread to the original length 
luziness that is waste or nasty small white spots noticed on silk fabric are due to luziness this is caused due to the splitting of fibers the cocoon phase is fixed after taking all the above characters into consideration further the percentage of type of defective cocoons present in the lot also influences the fixation of the price the next video we will see about the defective cocoons thank you